All right, everybody, good morning and welcome to Luang Pabang here in Northern Lao. Today we're doing something pretty cool. We're heading off out on a bit of a food mission. Hopefully gonna try some really good classic local Lao food, Luang Pabang food, and just see what we can get. Sabai di. Yeah, so first things first, we're off for a very special dish, something that should be really good. Sabai di. Hello, Sabai di. And yeah, I'm really excited for it, so let's just go for it now. Oh no, he's got a bit of a, a breathing problem. Salari, he's gone. Wait, oh, what bike? Oh, he's coming on the bike. No, he is. Come on. We're distracting him. <laughs> get on the bike. It's time to go out. Oh no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> he knows oh, the score. He I love it. <laughs> I love it when the dogs get on the bikes here in it. It's so funny. No. So on the other day, the guy had his dog with his hands over the back handlebars. It was so funny. Now down here, this is like we're heading down into like central Langkawang, down by the river, which is like I think super touristy because there's just like loads of fancy cafes. And loads of daft stuff that we're not interested in. But there is meant to be a serious bowl of noodles down here that have been highly recommended. So we're going for it. Oh, hey, oh, on the way, I've just spotted this absolutely fantastic view. Look at this over the river. So picturesque here, I'm not gonna lie. There's a really cool looking bamboo bridge as well crossing over. It's like jungle on the other side. They're building a really fancy resort as well down there. On the banks of the river, that looks pretty fancy. Let's get a move on, I'm absolutely starving. All right, I'm super excited to dig into this bowl of noodles. Now this place was recommended to me by my mate Gary Butler over at The Roaming Cup. Make sure you check his channel out because he really knows his stuff and he's doing it just right. Now, we've got a huge ball of khao soy, Lao khao soy. It looks absolutely incredible. So much different than your Thai style khao soy that you probably know of already. So in here, we've actually also been cheeky. We've asked for mu krob to be added, mu gob. So we've got the crispy pork, which looks really good. I'm just gonna try a bit of that for you. That's fantastic, crunchy on the outside, super soft on the inside. So, I'll just talk you through what we've got. We've got a huge plate of herbs, we've got mint, lettuce, cress, bean sprouts, lime, raw green beans. We have the chilies, little bird's eye chilies, this is what you need. Big tub of shrimp paste to go with them. And then Lao Khao Soi. So yeah, completely different. It's like a clear broth. And then we've got this almost bolognese type pork in here. Like minced pork mixed with like tomato. Nice and salty. Looks really good, looks really rich. I'm gonna give this all a big mix up. In fact, I'm just gonna try the broth. Now Gary says, this is a bold statement that this, this noodle right here is one of his favourite bowls of noodles that he's ever had. It was a bold statement. Wow, that's delicious. Wow. What do you think? That is really good. That is so interesting. It is. Yeah, I was about to say it is tomato. -y. Very bolognese-esque, but not spicy. We're going to throw in some of this delicious looking chilli paste, but... Oh, wow, that's like salty, tomatoey, really rich. Sip, sip, sip like. So good. Let's just try a bit of this pork. Look at that. Wow. Wow. That's absolutely fantastic. That pork is so rich, so meaty, tomatoey. 
Oh, yeah. The meat tastes really good quality though. It does, definitely I does. That yeah, it just tastes like definite good quality meat. Right, so let's liven this thing up. Let's get some of this. Oh, it looks really good, this chilli paste. I don't know how hot it'll be, but... Look at that. It's really good. Let's get a load of that in, because it does look fantastic. And then, what else have we got? Let's throw a lot of these bean sprouts in. Oh, what have we got? We've got mint. Can't beat the mint. The mint here is yeah, the best bit always. It's so flavorful, especially in a pho as well. Another noodle I really recommend you to try. We've got this cress. I'll just throw it all in. Go on. A little bit of lettuce. What's that? Inhaled chili flakes. <laughs> oh my God. We should just breathe in chili. <laughs> we'll have an interlude. We'll have a, a classic chili in the shrimp paste. <laughs> Let's see. Is it serious? Oh, what are they? They're like strange colour. Just like pure chili seeds. Let's get one of these like, I feel like pan fried tiny little chilies in the shrimp paste. There we go. Mm. It is growing on me so much. Now let's just give it a mix up and go for it. Oh, a few people are having it. It looks like a lot of Thai tourists as we get into the weekend <coughs> now. Oh yeah. Ooh. Just need to show you this piece of mukrob because it looks like the crunchiest piece of mukrob I've ever had. I'm going to give you the crunch factor on this. I need a mic for you to see that. So crunchy. It like evaporates when you evaporate. It's not on It just integrates when you back down and it just like crumbles. Look at this now. This is a serious bowl of noodles. So different. Not the cow soy most people know. Look at the colour of that. Let's give it a little go. That's really good. Got a proper fiery kick to it now. Oh, got my throat. Right, now we've got all these fresh greens in, the crest, the mint. Let's just go for a big bite of the noodles. Well, except that I. Honestly, it's fantastic. It's a really, really good bowl of noodles. It's completely different than like any noodle dish we have had before that you can find. It's so rich. I highly recommend you to get a bit of the crispy pork thrown in as well. Mm. But yeah, those herbs in. So good because it's obviously really spicy now, but and then afterwards you get those tastes of the mint coming through crunchy bit of lettuce. The noodles are super soft, like some places you get noodles a little bit chewy. I and mean, it's not much of a bad thing, but you get the super soft like you don't have to put in any effort to chew through these. Mm. Oh. Really good. I think the 25,000 kip. I want another one. Compared to the one I ingested today, the other one, the one I ingested today was like really light. Mm -hmm. Like a really light watery broth. This is like completely different. This is a proper breakfast, isn't it? Yeah. This is like... This is better, this is really good. And the meat is like so authentic. Mm -hmm. We'll ask if we can have a look at it before we leave. But it's actually a really nice street, this I've just realised where we're eating. I mean, it is quite busy. But it's super green, so it's nice. You know, it's like we're in a small town. I've just realised I've made an absolute cardinal sin. I forgot about the lime. I knew it was missing something. 
So we'll get this bad boy up in there. I love lime. Lime and coconut, one of my, two of my favourite things on the planet. In Thailand I made a video about getting a lime and coconut smoothie. And I had people commenting saying, that's weird. What? Yeah, get a bloody lime and coconut smoothie down here and then come and tell me it's weird. Do you agree with the statement? It's up there. Top five. I've not had enough noodle soups yet to make a statement like that. Let's have some more of these chilies. Oh! Oh, the chilies are well good, they're like super fresh chilies. And it's massive. This is a big portion. And you can see, this will do the job. Spot on. I need. I need. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bob us. Chai. Bob Chai. Bob, Bob Chai. Bob Chai de Bye bye, lag on. So, this is the spot that you want to be coming to. You can see the sign here. You can see all the stuff going on. You can see the huge piles of mull cob. Oh, she's got some of the pork to take away as well. Yeah, it's a proper little spot. You can see she's actually cooking over wood there, which is super impressive. You don't see that in many places anymore. 60,000 for both with the moo crop. Bob Chai. And they're really nice. The lady in there is really nice. I've got to say, I've got to give it to you, Gary. That probably was one of the best bowl noodles I have had. I'm not just saying that. You know me, I don't really just say things. Really cool little spot, and they are really friendly. Now, I don't know what the plan is now. Maybe we'll go and grab a coffee, some good Lao coffee. Maybe have a little look at the Mekong River and just relax. And obviously more food. It's a big food day, so... Hello, little guys. Sabaydi. <laughs> Got all them fellas under the wooden basket there. Yeah, we'll just head down to the river here. It is actually quite a nice area. Can you hear that plane? You can fly to Lang Prabang if you want. It's quite nice, just like your typical old style wooden houses as you can see right here everywhere some of them are really beautiful as well and in the morning there's not many people around I think after it will get really busy but if you can come for a walk in the morning but don't go when they're doing when the arms giving is going on because it's an absolute tourist mania what have we got here Ah, uh, Mekong views. We love the Mekong, don't we? It's like we're spending half our life recently up and down the Mekong River. I mean, there is a reason why we do love it. It's absolutely stunning. Like I say, tell me a bad place on the Mekong River. I'm still waiting for someone to tell me one. Someone's gonna tell me one now, aren't they? Right, I just need to show you this little spot we've found. We've got some really good local coffee. This coffee is actually from Luang Prabang. Really good, just a nice black coffee made in the mocha pot. You can see we've got the Mekong River down there. We're just on this little side street and you can see all these guest houses. They are so fancy around here. So here's the spot. It's really nice, there's loads of kids just playing around. Good place for a people watch. Here we've got it's called the Simple Coffee Pot. Slow ball, and yeah, just all done fresh. Ooh, fresh, delicious coffee. Twenty thousand kit, not the cheapest, but it's Savannah Kit. We were getting the same thing for ten thousand, but we're in Lang Prabang, so it is what it is. It's really good. Proper coffee, and then we also got some Lao Kam, which is the sticky rice cooked with coconut I believe in the little bamboo tube let's just try this I do really like this it's a really good snack always there we go it 
really nice. Cold though. We've had them before when they just come off the fire and they're so good. So tasty though. Mm. Hey up, check this out. Just come down to the very bank here of the Mekong River. There's all the chickens with the little chicks. There was loads of cocks everywhere, they were all having a bit of a drink in the river, but I've just come down here just to, yeah, have a look at the views. Because from up there, you can't really see, everything's super obstructive, you have to, obstructed. You have to actually come down here. And you can see everyone's got these huge long boats. There's so many boats, so many people must go out on these sunset tours and stuff. But yeah, I'll just show you the view. Super nice. Really beautiful stuff. There's so much litter here though, which is a shame, but it is what it is. This is Southeast Asia, I guess. Really cool. Yeah, you've got to come all the way down here because lining the river up here is just like cafes and restaurants. And obviously you can't just walk into the cafe and restaurant to get a view. So you have to come down these little paths as you see here. You know, to get a cracking view of the river. Oh, really beautiful, though, isn't it? Sabaidi, me, me, Kaudi. Kaudi. Ah. No, 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 no. Long. Long, long. So, Tukyan. Tukyan, Tukyan. Now the hat, sip half, man. Okay, that that my video. <laughs> so we're getting a good old Kauji Lao style baguette. The bread's here. Getting nice and warm, crispy on the, the coals. She's also got the sticky rice hooks. Cow uh -huh. <laughs> Ah, delicious. <laughs> I need my owl. <laughs> oh, my owl. <laughs> We're going cucumber free today. They've got two types of bread. This one's more like a sandwich. This one looks more like a, a crispy bread. As Leash says, a baguette. We'll go for this one. Hong says, hello. Oh, so is this mayonnaise? Mayonnaise, mm -hmm. spicy. Spicy, yes. I love like this. Sep, sep, sep. This is my favourite. This stuff is delicious. Nice spicy sauce. I need more, like more sap. Ah, this is kind of like what was in the cow soy this morning, ish. Loads of coriander, lettuce, tomato. Like a sweet sauce, a spicy sauce. Does it just right here? Ah, what is this? Kai, kai, egg. Like strips of like. Egg omelette. This is like Vietnamese sausage. And then pork cloth, this is the best stuff. Now oh, these salmonies are massive, look at the size of it. 15,000 kip, which is a great price because they're all massive. And this lady's lovely, we came to her the other day. Kun chu alai. Ken. 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 Oh, Ken. Outside the school. Outside the school. They're showing where you are. Kop chai, kop chai. And she's absolutely lovely. It's all smiley every day. These are massive. When we find somewhere to sit down, meet, I'll show you because it's nice and hot right now, nice and crispy. All right, here we go. This thing. It's a monster. Look how stuffed it is. There is so much in here and it's on this nice crispy bread, yeah. You saw what we put in. There's the pork floss, egg, Vietnamese sausage, tomato, coriander, sauces, just that spicy sauce, that huge bucket, that spicy stuff. And I mean, I usually do like to rip them in half, but I feel like I can't, so I'm gonna have to just go for like a, an edge bite. I need to cut back and I've actually got to the goods. 
Right, we've got to the goods, we've got to the middle, and you can see, can you see just how stuffed this is? Like, usually you will buy a cow jeep, and sometimes they're not like this, entered. they might be cheaper, but they're not this stuff. Like, this is a proper sandwich. And yeah, this is the best stuff, it's like pork floss. Well done. Oh well, the coriander is so good. Coriander is one of the greatest things on the earth. I say it a lot. Look at that. The combo of the coriander with that dark red spicy sauce she has. It's like a thick, it's almost like a paste. It's not really a sauce. It's like an absolute winner. And then with the egg, the pork floss, the tomato, it's like juicy. Crunchy lettuce, the bread. You can see as I caress this bun gently, it's like a nice crispy baguette. What am I on about? But it's got like the flour on the outside, a little bit of flour. Really good. And it's massive. Really good. Loads of that Vietnamese sausage as well. Sabai đi. Ao wan neng, ao sai ua. Thịt neng. Ờ sai ua neng. Cọp chai. Ai bon, ai bon in Lukuba. You're born in Lukuba. Yeah, right? Ah, wow. I born here but I go to the US uh, 1977. Ah, wow, long time ago. And this is my first time to come back here to visit the homeland. Ah, wow. This is my first time. Does it feel good to be back? Yeah, <laughs> the one thing I scare is uh, the hospital. Uh, yeah. They don't have good medicine. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 That's why I pack it away. <laughs> Bring it with you. Yeah, yeah for yeah. six months. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I pack the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Look at this, a proper barbecue going on. It's like a bloody English backyard barbecue. Is that what we eat it with? And sticky rice. Oh, okay, yeah. chill bomb. Sometimes uh, when you drink beer, you try to taste it. Oh, like a beer snack? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it's good. It. It's delicious. Yeah. What is it? R river weed? Uh, this one they call uh, Mekong seaweed. Mekong seaweed. Yeah. Seaweed. They take from Mekong. Okay. And after that, they try to uh, make it traditional. Yeah. For longer bank. Ah. And they make it, they dry it there. Dry out. Oh, so they sun dry it. Oh, wow, it's sun dry. Yeah. After that, they just cut and they, they try to uh, fry it yeah. with the oil. Oh, okay. Mm, crispy. So it's like sun-dried river yeah, weed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, crispy. And uh, sometimes you can try the beef jerky too. Beef jerky? With the sticky rice. Yeah. That sounds Hot good. sticky rice. That would be delicious. Make you <laughs> feel good. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do with the buffalo skin? We see little strips oh, of buffalo. Oh, the buffalo skin? Yeah. Like little, what do they do? Yeah, that, that one, they can cook for you. They cook? Yeah, they cook. Oh, like and crispy. You eat the very fresh, look like sticky in your mouth, and you, but you don't eat cold. Cold is very hard to oh, choose. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I imagine it would be very hard. Yeah, it should be, to it should be the warm, warm it up. Warm it up. Yeah, you can try. Yeah. We will try that. Yeah, you try it out. But that one they can eat with the sticky rice right and tia bong too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Everything yeah. with everything with tia bong. Yeah, with tia bong. <laughs> I actually feel soft and fatty, like right? because it's the skin. We'll try and get some yeah, somewhere. Try it out. Yeah. 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 The lady sells out every single day. Every day she's been sold out when we walked past. We seized the opportunity to get some of these sausages. There was a bloke there, a Laotian who now is in the US, who told us they're amazing. Look inside this. So this is Lao style sai ua. Smells really meaty, really fragrant. Different than the Thai style. And then we also got the sweet one, which is like caramelly, like a glazed sausage, which we've had before, but... So I know they're delicious, but... Want some leash? Just look at all the herbs in there, though. It's like... It's oily, isn't it? It's greasy. It's a greasy sausage. Wow. That's heavy. This plate is heavy. It's like a really meaty, porky sausage, like vegans, stay away from this. This will give you a heart attack. But, mmm. Right. Got the colours in here. You can see there's huge chunks of fat. 
There's a little bit of chilli in there. I don't know what's in there. Oh, lemongrass. It's really fragrant. Fatty. Spicy. Mmm, a little bit spicy. It's a really good sausage. But a few of them, they're heavy. I mean, it's not sticky rice, they dilute the strong flavour. And we've also got this bad boy. These remind me of pig in blankets. If you're British, that's what they remind me of. The little sausages that come. They like little English sausages, little skinny sausages. Now this sweet. And some, who was it? Our hotel owner in Paxay, we told him about these, he said they're for kids. <laughs> I disagree, I think they're quite tasty. I like them. They are sweet, they're like almost caramelly. These go really well with sticky rice as well. They're very sweet. Very sweet. It's like they've got sugar glazed on. I mean, what doesn't go well with sticky rice? We're in Lao. Hmm. The complete opposite. Of the other one, them two sausages are so different. That one isn't as fatty, I don't think. No. It's a lot lighter. Mm. We're trying to catch the rabbit, it's escaped. Have they got it? Oh, it's escaped again. So they've got a rabbit because it's the Chinese year of the rabbit. And obviously, it's Chinese New Year. It's covered. Come on. Oh. Oh! He's coming through to you, Leash, Leash. Get, get him! Oh, he's quick, he's quick. Oh! Where has he gone? He's gone over there. <laughs> no, I've cut my arm, Leash. I've cut. He's here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Get around your side. You would never walk. Oh, this is important. Have you got him? Got it? Yeah. Oh, you've got it. <laughs> Leisha's got the rabbit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I've got oh. the rabbit. <laughs> the man grabbed his head. Oh, you little pesky critter. <laughs> that was fun. It's very cute. Is it skirt? It's probably skirt, but it's fly. <laughs> so they've actually they've got this rabbit in the little shrine they've made over there for Chinese New Year. Is this where it goes? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Might be lie. Oh, this is where the rabbit lives. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ah, for Ch Chinese New Year. <laughs> yeah. That was well funny. Just diving through the bush. I've actually just cut my bloody arm open again. My open wound that hasn't healed yet. On the thorns in the bush. Leash caught the rabbit. That was fun. Fun morning activity. That little girl loves that rabbit. She's not stopped playing with it. She put it on the floor and then it ran off. It's so funny. She was really sad like that. <laughs> she was like, oh, I'm <laughs>